All right, let's talk about this new era of the Carolina Panthers that's underway. The number one pick and new signal caller Bryce Young made his way through the Queen City. Fans definitely excited about the future of the franchise with Young as the quarterback. Earlier today, he also held his first official news conference at the bank. He answered several questions about his playmaking ability, but also took a moment to reflect on the significance of black quarterbacks drafted in the top four picks. I'm honored to be a part of this, um, to be a part of this, this history and, and me and CJ, um, you know, going one and two and then, like you said, and, and, and three black quarterbacks going, going top five, um, going top four, it's, it, it, it means a lot. It's something that I, that I, um, you know, that I definitely, um, it definitely means a lot to me. And I'm super grateful for the people who, who, who blazed the trail that allowed this to happen. As we mentioned, Young hit on several topics this afternoon. Joining me now is Ashley Sterline, who has been following every moment at the stadium. What a time to be a Panthers fan right now. It's so refreshing and yeah. exciting. I was telling you before the show, like it's been a minute since I've covered this team and fans being this optimistic, yeah. this positive, this hopeful. So I'm loving this new era so far. We're just 24 hours in, but I'll take it. Good things to yeah. come, I hope. And of Buckle course, up. it's been a uh, whirlwind 24 hours for Bryce Young from hearing his name called at the number one pick in the draft on Thursday night to a very, very busy day, as you just mentioned, in the Queen City today. Now, when I arrived at the stadium, those fans were lined up waiting for his arrival. And then, of course, he made his way in to talk to us. And that's where he was asked a number of questions. As you mentioned, one of those was about how he plans to step into a leadership role as a rookie quarterback. You have to understand what's best for the situation. I don't think there's a one size fits all solution for how to lead. Um, you have to be true to yourself, but also have to know the people around you, um, build that rapport and know, um, you know, what's best for the situation. And I'm blessed to be um, in this opportunity and I'm excited to start that to, to help to start build that rapport and, and start that process. Because again, uh, you know, I, I really want to come in and earn the respect. And I know that that's going to be a tall task because it's going to be a lot of people in this building that, that demand that respect. So I'm excited to, to start that process. All right, there, there's a look after his presser. He uh, held up the jersey, did a photo op, but then I've, I've been talking about it all day. I was so impressed because after this whole thing was over in the midst of this chaotic day for him, he went down the line and shook every media member's mm -hmm. hand, introduced himself. Yeah. I was just so, just so impressed by what he brought in his first press conference at the bank, and I think fans are pretty excited that this is who the team went with. Yeah, and he seems to be kind of a quiet, soft-spoken, yeah. uh, demonstrative, I'm going to do my part, yep. and you can follow me because I'm bringing my energy type of leader. Absolutely right. right. So soft spoken in that press conference. And that was one of the questions like, OK, you're, you're so calm. You're so mm -hmm. soft spoken. So how are you going to lead this locker room of grown men? And he's like, you know, I'm going to come in. I'm going to earn their respect. And, and like you just said, you'll see it by the play, right? Yeah. yeah. I know he's going to do well in the locker room. I'm looking forward to seeing how he does out in the city. Yes, you Absolutely. and the rest of Panthers Nation. Yeah. All right, Stro. <laughs> Thank you.